All right, so in today's video, I wanna talk about a device which I've, I've used this as a reality check totem or you know, a way of testing my reality for a while, but it's something which I've not really made a video about for some reason, I've, I've never really spoken about this before. So this is the Lucid Talisman. Now the ta Talisman is basically like a, in this context, it's a totem, right? So a Lucid Dreaming, let me just put this down so you can see me properly. So a lucid dreaming totem is something that you can use to sort of, like a physical object that you can use as a reality check. So if you've seen the film Inception, right, you, you remember the uh, the spinning top, right? So Leo, Leo DiCaprio uses the spinning top to test whether he's dreaming or not. You know, if it stops spinning, then he knows he's dreaming. If it carries on spinning, he's in a lucid dream. So what a talisman is, is essentially like a, like a coin. I think the easiest way is if I just show you it so you can see how it works. Okay, so the actual talisman itself, I'm just gonna put it on here so you can get a better look at it. All right, so this is the talisman itself. There are two versions of this. I can't actually remember which one is uh, the one that's on the site now for sale, but this is one of them. And this is the other one, slightly smaller and less colorful. I think actually from memory, I think this is the old one. Uh, which is, I don't know if they're being made anymore. Yeah, I'm not sure if they are being made anymore, but because this is so limited now, I don't think you can get this this one anywhere online. If this video gets to 10,000 likes, then I will give this to a random commenter. Whoever randomly leaves a comment, I'll give this to. Uh, anyway, so this is, I think, the one that you can get now. So it's slightly bigger, slightly more simple. There's some nice colors on here, Dormian's Vigila. Am I dreaming? Uh, oh, and Lucid Vive. Am I awake? So there's a few interesting things going on here. So firstly, you'll notice the snake around the edge here. This is actually an ancient symbol of immortality. Uh, the snake biting its own tail. I'm not going to go into the history of this, but that's very interesting. There's also the sun here, and then the moon on the other side again, with the snake going around, in indicating immortality. Now there is some interesting things you can do with this. So, so in terms of actually how to use this to, to lucid dream, there are a few things you can do. So firstly, if you do reality checks, which you should do, right? You should be doing, I think, 20, 30 reality checks every day. It depends on you know how, how difficult you find lucid dreaming. But what you can do is you can start using this as a reality check. So what you can so with a typical reality check, you might do something like try and push your finger through your palm. Okay. So whereas with this, what you would do is you would attach an expectation to the totem, and tell yourself that whenever you hold the totem, it will do a certain thing if you're awake, and another and another thing if you're dreaming. So what you can do is you can hold it and you can say right every time I hold this totem, if I'm dreaming the sun, the sun symbol on the front here, will start glowing and pulsating, okay? And so what you do is you hold this totem, and every time you hold this totem, you tell yourself, if I'm dreaming, the sun will be glowing. And so then when the sun doesn't glow, you can conclude that you're awake. Uh, but because you're attaching that expectation to it, because you're telling yourself, if I am dreaming, without a doubt, this, this sun will start glowing. If you do end up holding this in a lucid dream, in, in a normal dream, I should say, the sun will start glowing and you can conclude that you're lucid dreaming. It's a very easy way of attaching expectation to a physical object. And that's basically the whole idea behind totems, really. When you break it down, it's just about attaching an expectation to an object. And so there are a number of things you can do. You can either say when the sun glows, I know I'm lucid, or you can say when the moon starts to glow, or you can say when the snake starts to you know, slither around in a, in a circle. Basically anything that you can notice on this totem. You know, or you might say, if I hold the totem and it starts floating above my hand like this, right? It starts floating above my hand, then I'll know I'm, I'm dreaming. So lots of things you can do with this. It's a really fun, uh, almost magical kind of way of getting back into lucid dreaming. If you've struggled with reality checks, this totem, or talisman I should say, is a very good way of getting back into that, getting back into that whole magical sense of lucid dreaming where anything's possible. So yeah, I hope that makes sense. There is actually another option that you can do. So there is actually another thing you can do and that is you can get a uh, necklace with the totem actually on uh, the end as a, as a smaller version of it. So this is a lot easier to wear. You can just you know wear it as a necklace and look down and basically do the same thing instead of having to carry this big disc around with you because this has actually got some kind of, 
it's kind of heavy. You know, there's some sort of weight to this. It's obviously a, a disc of metal. So, whereas with this, it's a lot easier to wear a necklace. Now, I just want to make sure that you can get a good look at this. It is pretty much the same. The more that I look at this, it's pretty much the same design on the smaller version that you that you uh, get on the bigger version. The only difference is this one has a sort of a, sort of a gold tint to it, whereas this is just silver and blue. Um, so, you know, this is obviously the better version, but this is much more practical and you can actually wear it and use it. So, plus it's kind of a cool necklace, you know, I can see myself wearing this, I have been wearing this for a while. Uh, not now, obviously I'm wearing my mandala right now, but this is a really cool product. Really cool, really cool idea. I, I like this and I can tell you, you know, from personal experience that it has helped me to get reality checks to show up in my dreams. In the times where you find yourself like in a sort of a rut, you know, where nothing's working, you can't, your techniques aren't showing up, your reality checks aren't showing up, it can be difficult to know what to do. And I think this is a good way of breaking up that that uh, that rut because it's something it's something new to try. You know, it's a different way of looking at reality checks. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's a really cool idea. Um, yeah. Anyway, so you can check this out. Links are in the description if you want to get one of these. As I said, they are very fun, very nice to hold, and yeah, you can get the necklace version if you want. That is as effective, probably more effective because you're more likely to carry it around and actually use it. So, and also, like I said, if this video gets to 10,000 likes or I don't know, a thousand comments, I will pick one of you at random and you will win this one, which is the old version. This is really cool. Look at this. Really cool. Okay, so that's it for now guys. Leave a comment, leave a like, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching guys. This video and this channel were supported by my Patreon followers. Please consider giving just a dollar a month to support this channel, or just click the links in the description. You'll find links to various Lucid Dream products, articles, techniques, and tutorials. If you did enjoy this video, please click the notification bell and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Why are you still watching this? You should have clicked one of my related videos by now, right? Or subscribed or gone onto my website or something like that.